Laravel is an awesome tool for building web applications, but it can be really overwhelming for beginners with its abundance of features. Because of this, my goal with this series is to give you a broad overview of working with Laravel. My hope is that you will work through this series and come away with a concise overall picture of the Laravel system prepared to rewind and dig deeper into each individual feature. So with those goals in mind, let's jump into this video's topic, which is installation. To get started, we want to get Laravel installed and running on our local computers. This is going to be our development environment. This is where we're going to evolve our application, building all the features, working out all the kinks, and ultimately getting it ready for eventually deploying it to a production server where we can share it with the rest of the world. Now, in order to install and run Laravel, you're going to need a web server, you're going to need that server to be running PHP, and you're going to need a series of extensions that go with PHP. And finally, you're going to need a command line based program called Composer. This is going to handle all of your dependency management within your Laravel application. So right out of the box, there are several components that we need to pull together in order to just run Laravel. And if you skim through the installation instructions in the documentation, you'll see you have a lot of options when it comes to how you set up these components. But remember, the goal of this series is to simplify the overall picture of Laravel. So I'm going to filter things down to my recommendations on the best place to get started. And for Mac users, that's going to be using a program called Herd. And for Windows users, it's going to be using a program called Laragon. These programs come bundled together with all of the components you need to set up a server that is customized to work with Laravel. So knowing that, let's jump right in. I'm gonna start off with Herd for Mac users. And if you're a Windows user working with Laragon, you wanna to jump to the time code I have listed on the screen. You'll find your instructions there. To get started with Herd, you wanna to go to herd.laravel.com and download the software. Install it like you would any other program on your Mac. And then once Herd is installed and running, you should see this H icon in your menu bar. And from this menu, you can see a list of services that Herd is running. The most important one is this first one, Nginx. This is your web server. And in my case, you can see I've got a little green circle next to the server indicating that it's currently running. If I didn't see this, if I saw a little red circle, I should see an option to start my services. I would want to click that and get everything running before I proceeded to the next step. Uh, if for some reason you can't get your services to start, let's say you try to start them, you get an error message, leave a comment below describing what you see in the error message and I could try to point you in the right direction. For most users, your services should start up with no problem and you're ready for the next step, which is we want to go into our settings. And in settings under the general tab, uh, you have a section here called herd pass. These are directories on your computer where herd is going to be looking for Laravel applications. So we want to install our first Laravel application in one of these directories. And I'm going to choose the last directory. It's just a directory called herd, and it's going to exist in the home directory on your computer. So noting that path, bring up your command line program. Uh, the default on Mac is terminal. I use a variation of that called iterm. Any command line based program will work. And within here, we want to change into that herd directory. So I'm going to use the change directory command. I'll use the tilde forward slash, which is just an alias for my home directory. And then we're going to go into herd. Within here, I'm going to create a new Laravel application. I'm going to do that with the command composer, create dash project, Laravel forward slash Laravel, and then I'm going to give the project a name. In this case, I'm just going to call it demo, but you can call yours whatever you want. And before I run this, let's break down a little bit what this command is doing. First of all, we're using composer, which is PHE's uh, dependency management program. It's very much an uh, integral part of Laravel applications. And when we installed Herd, it came with Composer pre-installed. So that's why we have access to this command. And specifically within Composer, we're running the create project command. And then we're indicating the project type that we're creating. Here we're referencing the main Laravel repository on github.com. So that's where it's going to be pulling our software from. And then, like I said, this is just the name we want to give this new application. So let's go ahead and run that. Composer is going to get to work downloading Laravel as well as all of its dependencies. And then with that complete, let's look at our directory contents and you should see a new directory in here named after the application you just created. Now with that application now existing in your herd directory, let's go back to herd, back into our settings. We're gonna switch over to the sites tab. It should refresh and detect your new application. You can see in my case, it's the second one listed here. So it generated a URL for it. It took the name of the directory, which was demo, and it just appended a URL extension of dot test. You can see the path where it's going to be loading this application from. Uh, we have an option if we want to load this via HTTPS, we could click this little lock icon. 
You can see the version of PHP it's going to be using uh, to run this site. And then finally, this little globe icon, if we click this, it should load our new application in the browser. So let's test that out. And perfect, there's the default welcome page that every new Laravel application is set up with. And you can see we're loading it via our URL of demo.test. And with that, installation is complete. So you're ready for the next steps. You wanna check out my next video in this series on routes and controllers. We're gonna see how we can start to work within this code base and customize what we're seeing when we load it in the browser. To get started with Laragon, you wanna to go to laragon.org forward slash download, and then find the option to download the full version. In my case, I already downloaded it before this video started. So I'm just gonna to go to my downloads directory. Here I can see the Laragon installer called Laragon WAMP. I'm gonna double click that. I'll grant the installer access to my device. And let me close some of these other windows so we can focus on the installer. I'm gonna choose my language, English. I'm gonna leave the default path. It's gonna install it in my C drive under Laragon. I'm gonna leave these defaults for all of these customization options and then confirm my install. And then we'll click finish and it should automatically load Laragon. And the first thing we wanna do is click this button, start all to start all of our services. And then we can see a list of services that are running. The most important one is this first one, Apache. This is the web server we're gonna to use to run our Laravel application. We also have MySQL running, which is something we'll use later in this series. So with Laragon up and running, we wanna create our first Laravel application. The way we're gonna do that is let's click this terminal button. And what I'm looking at is a program called Commander, which is a command line program that comes built into Laragon. And by default, it starts us off in this Laragon www directory, which is like the document root for our Laragon servers. And the way it works is anytime we create a new Laravel application within this directory, Laragon's going to detect the creation of that new application and it's going to automatically configure it for us so we can load the application over our web server, we can access it in the browser. So understanding that, I'm going to create a new Laravel application. I'm going to do that with the command composer, create project, Laravel slash Laravel, and then I'm going to give the project name. In this case, I'm just going to call it demo, but you can call yours whatever you want. And before I run this, let's break this command down. So we're using a command line based program called Composer. This is PHP's dependency management uh, system, which is very much an integral part of Laravel. And we have access to it here because just like Commander, it came pre-bundled as part of the Laragon software. Uh, specifically within Composer, we're running the create project command, and then we're gonna indicate the project type we wanna create. And here the Laravel forward slash Laravel is just referencing the main Laravel application that exists on github.com. Uh, and then, like I said, we just give it a name. So let's go ahead and run this command and Composer is gonna get to work downloading Laravel as well as all of its dependencies and do some initial setup on our application. So I'll give this a moment to complete. So that's complete. I'm gonna switch back to Laragon and I'm gonna click the reload button. And in doing this, it should detect that new application we just created. And you could see the notification down here. It says detected new project. Uh, it's gonna create a virtual host for us. This is what's gonna set up the URL for us so we can access this in the browser. So let me give this access to make changes to my device. And we could see Apache was reloaded. So to test this out, I'm gonna go over to my browser. Let's open up a new tab and the URL for my new site should match the name of the application itself. So it's gonna be HTTP demo, and then the extension we're gonna to use to access the site is .test. And perfect, there is our new Laravel application running over our Laragon Apache servers. Uh, what we're seeing here is the default welcome page that every new Laravel application is set up with. So with that, installation is complete and you're ready for the next part of this series, routes and controllers, where we're really gonna dig in, start to work in the code base and understand how we can customize this to make it our own.